What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? Stream Bean, and as you can see, this GBA is it's done. There's no saving this guy. Um, as the video states, I mean, this is, in my opinion, trash. And and the only way to save it is we're gonna have to rehome the innards of this thing and give it a new shell. I just want to show people how simple something like this is. Uh, if you find these at a yard sale or flea market, and you you know if it's if it's in conditions like this, I'll show you how for you know under ten dollars you can easily fix this thing up. So sit back and relax. Let's turn this guy around. Alright guys, so like I said, we, we gotta rehouse this thing, there's no possible way I can get this clean, it's too much work, and it's just, it'd be a lot simpler just to, to rehouse this thing, give it a fresh new appearance. Um, the, the kit that I use, I think I paid like 6 bucks for it, sure you can go to certain websites that like specialize these things, pay an inflated price, I don't ever recommend it, I just say go to eBay, um, you can order them, if you don't mind waiting, you can get them from China directly, it'll just take a, a good bit of time. Uh, and the kits themselves are not that bad. The kit that I went with this one here is a complete kit minus the uh, the, the rubber for the contacts themselves. And I went with white. Um, I was actually surprised. This actually came with a screen. I was going to uh, use one of my replacement screens, but I don't have to now. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. whole bunch of little giblets. All right. As you can see, it's white. I mean, that's all it is. This is going to look good. I think it's going to look a lot, a lot more fresh. Uh, and then what we got going on right here. This, I believe, was, I don't know, probably silver. Uh, there's no telling. I don't know the backstory of this thing. It, it was sent in a long time ago. Uh, maybe they tried to go for a mod themselves. And, uh, boy, I don't know. <laughs> but, but what can you do? That's all right. When it comes to shell swaps, things like that, I don't really consider them mods. I'm sure you are technically modifying it. But this is just, I don't know, this is simple stuff to me. Uh, so we got a tri-wing screwdriver right here, and I actually believe I took most of the screws out. I left maybe a few in, if any, I think. Did I leave any screws? Yeah, I left one in, just to hold it. Because um, I did attempt to clean this thing at one point, and I I got like a little bit of this off, and I was like, man, oh man, I, I ain't messing with this. If, if, had it been a little bit simpler, uh, it came off a little bit easier, I, I would have done it. A lot of people asked me in the comment section, uh, when I first talked about it, they were like, man, just resell it. It's not worth your time. Uh, it is worth my time if, it's, if I can get it done in like 10 minutes. That way I'm not, I'm not spending that the, the $6 that I spent for a resell kit. Uh, but obviously, that was not the case. All right, so we got this thing apart here. All we got to do is just slide that up right there. Uh, yeah, this thing is just, oh, man, you can see it got all the way around in the, in the edges itself. Uh, phew, boy. Uh, yeah, I even got some of the battery contacts, which is good, and the good side of the battery contacts for the board will uh, be in the actual console itself, which I'm happy about that. If you hear bloops and bloops in the background, this is the Discord server. Feel free to join up. It's awesome retro gaming community. The, the, there'll be a pinned comment uh, as well as in the description if you ever want to show off the finds you get or talk about uh, retro gaming. That's the place to do it. All right, so what we got to do is take this guy out and put it in the new back, which is right here, and I got these pieces all scattered around here. Put those off to the side. Uh, so now we got to take our little uh, Phillips here because game, you know, Nintendo likes likes to uh, throw curveballs every now and then. Did, did I get the wrong size Phillips? That's not gonna work. Yeah, it'll work. It's not as perfectly as I'd want it to. Oh lord, I don't know what it is about Nintendo. You gotta open something up. Everything's the same size. Next thing you know, they're like, bam! Enjoy this curveball. They they like to do that, especially. Try wing stuff. I need to. I need to get the right size. I'm gonna strip the hell out of that. Uh, let's see. That one's not much better. I definitely don't want to strip this, which I feel like I'm starting to do. I actually had to go with not the proper sized Phillips for this, just because it, it was starting to get stripped. I had to, it was a little bit oversized. Um, if you ever feel yourself starting to strip a screw, my God, don't let uh, your patience uh, ruin it for you. You you got to you got to slow down, take a take a breath, and be like, listen, I better get, I better get the right thing. I'm gonna mess this thing up. I've messed things up stripping the hell out of them, and it is not easy to fix them uh, once you have stretched uh, said item. All right, now we got to take off the uh, this wedge holding the uh, ribbon cable right here. Very easy. It's just got two little 
flappers here on the side you pull those apart and then I just lift this up typically there you go just try to be try to be careful and with that ribbon cable I just kind of like lift up and it'll just kind of slide right out so that's our main guts right there those are important and that's that's gonna be the uh, the brain of the operation and then we got our screen right here now and I'm also I need these rubber because your kid ain't gonna come with the rubber this rubber is very important and as for the screen I've already done this before, but you know, you kind of want to crack it a little bit like this side to side and you, it'll, it'll start to push out. Uh, luckily this one is loose and free. It's also had, it also has this little rubber double sided adhesive, which I actually am going to reuse. Hopefully it's still got any juice left on it. I did this last time. I'm going to do it again. Just, just, just so it's, it's, it's even more clean. I'm going to take some uh, ice purple rubbing alcohol and clean the contacts on this board just to make sure it's nice and responsive. I'll do this on the rubber feet themselves uh, on the actual uh, bits over here too just to make sure this thing is nice and clean. Um, when it, whenever you have a proper clean contact right here it's you're not going to have one of those situations where you got to press the hell out of a button uh, to get it to activate. If you ever wondered why that did that it's because of this usually uh, usually because of this. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and seat the screen before I put the actual back on there. And I got a, um, a very fine felt cloth right here. This is what I want to use to clean the screen. I want to be as, as, as light as possible. And, and you can scratch these things if you're not careful. And when you scratch this, there's no unscratching it. So you want to be very gentle when you do something like this. Alright, so we got our screen nice and clean here. So what we're going to do is take that rubber double-sided uh, little gasket and we're going to seat this back in and then we're going to lay the screen on top of it and uh, press it into place. Alright guys, so now we got the screen in place. It's time to put the back into the, uh, or, or you know, at least the guts inside the main board itself. And that's what we're going to do here. It's all simple stuff. I'm telling you people, people don't realize how simple something like this is. And I'm sure I'm going to get comments like, man, why didn't you throw an IPS screen in? Why didn't you do a backlight? I'll tell you a couple of reasons. Number one, the skits are kind of expensive. Number two, they really just aren't selling for as much work that you do for the price that you get these kits for. Now, if you got like a wholesale deal where you're getting these kits super cheap, sure, it might be, uh, might be beneficial. But when, um, I just have not found a kit, uh, price wise, that that's going to be good enough for me. Uh, so I'm, like I said, I already know people are going to ask why, why I'm not doing the, uh, uh, the backlight on and there is your answer all right so before we put this back together i need to put the ribbon cable back in its place and then we can go from there all right guys so all we gotta do now once we got the ribbon cable back on is just simply put the buttons back in luckily for nintendo uh one of the the good things that they do is they make it uh to where it's easy to to find the pieces that you need all you gotta do is move them around uh when they fit like it's like it's a perfect fit like tetris here uh, that's when you know you got it good. So we're going to put all these buttons in and then we are going to reseat it. Alright guys, now one thing I will say that's different about this model, we got the screen in place, is we don't put the screws back through here. If you try that, the, the, it won't go together right. Uh, the screws actually go through the back uh, through here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put our shoulder buttons on and the hips and assemble this thing back together. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so with everything in place, the first screws I want to put in are the ones that hold that board in, so they'll go right in these two holes. Alright, so once you get that done, you want to take your four remaining longer screws and put them on the outsides here. Alright guys, so we got that back on, buttons feel good, everything feels like it should, which is exactly what you want. And then my favorite part in all of this is to put the new screen on. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab a razor blade. And very carefully, because you don't want to scratch the screen, of course. Come from the back, peel this up. Now, one thing I like to do uh, is you look through it through uh, the light, hold it up in the air, and you actually want to clean the back side of this. Even though it's brand new, you saw that little sticky come off. It's, it, you need to clean them. All right, once you got that cleaned up, go ahead and seat it right into position. And you may be sitting there saying to yourself, man, it's got scratches on there. No, it doesn't. <laughs> this is the brand new screen. So all we got to do... Uh, take that razor blade, and this is when you got to be super careful. Come down here to an edge. And I'm telling you, this is this is my favorite part of any any time I do this. This is this is the ultimate part. Nothing beats this sensation. Oh yeah, you ready for it? Look at this. Oh my God! To reveal a brand new. 
Game Boy Advance skin. Oh, that looks so much better. This thing already, I mean, it's uh, for the, for this model that I used for for this particular one, it looks good. I'm happy about it. It turned out very well. Uh, the only thing that I need to do is clean up the contacts just a little bit right here, uh, and then it should be good to go. Let's see if this thing's working. All right, guys, so believe it or not, I actually had to reopen this thing because I forgot the LED plastic covering that, that allows the light to shine through. I'm only human, guys. I, I miss stuff all the time. But anyway, let's, let's try this thing out now that it is good to go, and I am excited for this thing because it turned out really nice for what it is. Oh, I already had the power button on, apparently. Let's see. Now, I know that it's not back, and I know this damn game ain't working, too. Look at that. It's not loading. Hold on a second. I don't even, I didn't clean this game. Let's clean it up real quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, buttons are working like they're supposed to. Uh, do I even have a save file on here? I think I do. Yeah, very nice. So, I'm good with this. I'm happy with it. Uh, this thing turned out really well. The white, uh, it, it looks good. Like I said, I paid like seven, eight dollars for this kit. And yeah, as you can see, uh, comparative to all this, all this other junk here, look at it. Uh, it's night and day. I'll be able to sell this thing. Someone will buy it. It'll make someone very happy to own a piece of their childhood again uh, and a nice brand new shell. So with that said, guys, hopefully I'll have enjoyed this video, learned something. Uh, don't get intimidated by stuff like this. this. This stuff is very simple. Does not take a lot of time at all. So if you find a Game Boy that's in terrible condition, uh, spend a few bucks and make even more. So with that said, guys, to everybody out in this wonderful world, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.